Hello dear friend, I welcome you to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the variable frequency drive. Alright, so this here is the variable frequency drive. And basically, the variable frequency drive is used to control the speed of an AC motor. This actually can be used to increase the speed or reduce the speed of the motor as required. And so we'll be looking at how the wiring is done from the supply to the variable frequency drive, and then from the variable frequency drive to the electric motor that it is meant to control. But interestingly, the variable frequency drive can be used to do many other things aside controlling the speed of the motor. And one of those is that if you have a universal VFD, you can actually use a single phase supply to control a three-phase motor and that is exactly what I'm going to show in this video. So the motor I'll be using is a three-phase motor but I'll be supplying single phase that is light and neutral to the variable frequency drive and then we'll have a three-phase output that will go to the motor. And so with a universal variable frequency drive you can actually use a three-phase supply input or a single phase supply input to control a three-phase motor. And so in this video, I'm going to show how to connect a single-phase supply to the variable frequency drive to supply three-phase output to the three-phase motor to enable us to run the motor at the required speed that we want it to run. This setup is just a setup for direct online starter. I have done this setup in my previous video, and so I'm not going to talk about this again. The concentration will be on how to connect the single phase supply to this variable frequency drive, and then the connection that will be taken from here to the motor, and you see how it works. All right, so now let's get started. So first, live output. And then neutral to the VFD. All right, so when you look at the VFD critically, you can see that here we have L1, then L2, then L3. Then these three are supposed to be going to the motor terminal. So you have T1, T2, and then T3. All right. So this VDF, you can use it for three-phase input and then three-phase output to the motor. All right. But in this case, out of these three phases, I'm going to connect just live and neutral. So I'm using only two phases instead of three phases. So my input live goes to a terminal marked L3. And then... I'll connect neutral to L1. All right, so the terminals marked T1, T2, T3 will now be connected to the motor. So to the motor, I have T1, then T2, and then T3. So this will now connect to the motor. So I have motor terminal one. Then motor terminal two. And then motor terminal three. Very, very well. So now we are done with all the connections. So this is the variable frequency drive. This is our starter. And then this is our motor. So as you can see, we have live input and neutral input, and then live output, neutral output to the VFD. All right, but this motor is a three-phase motor. And so we have three lines from the output, that is one, two, three, to the motor. One, two, three. All right, so in this case, we are using single phase through the variable frequency drive to the motor. Okay, and so in this way, we can use single phase to power this three-phase motor, and then the variable frequency drive can also help us to vary the speed of this motor. So now everything is set, so I have to cover this back. 
Okay. All right, so to start the whole system, this breaker must first go on, and then we press the start button. You can see that the VFD has started. Okay, so as you can see, you can see that the motor, you can see that the motor has now started running. And so as I increase the frequency, so as I increase the frequency here, the speed will then increase. Okay. Then as I reverse it, as I reverse it, you see that the, the speed is reducing as I reduce the frequency. So in a situation where you would like to be able to reduce or increase the speed of your motor at different times, then you have to use the variable frequency drive to do that. Okay, so as you can see, low speed, low speed. And I can actually use the frequency to stop the motor. Okay, so here, I have not pressed the stop button, but I have reduced the frequency so low that the motor cannot turn. So now you see that the motor has stopped. All right. And then I can use the frequency to start it and then to increase. So as the frequency increases, the speed also increases. You can see as the frequency increases, the speed also increases. And then as the frequency reduces, the speed also reduces. Good. So with the variable frequency drive, you can actually use one stone to kill two beds. That is, you can use it to perform its primary function of reducing and increasing the speed or the torque of the motor. And you can also use it for a three-phase motor where you have only single phase supply available. All right, so apart from the variable frequency drive, there are a few methods that you can use to enable you operate a three phase motor on single phase supply. And so in another video, I'll be showing the other methods that you can use to enable you to use a three phase motor on single phase supply. All right, so thank you very much for watching this video. Please, if you like this video, do well to hit on the like button, share with your friends, and subscribe to stay connected. See you in my next video.